Ladies and gentlemen, hey, what's going on? Mike Price here, president of LTI Mortgage. And today what I'm talking to, or the, who I'm talking to here in this video is I want to talk to the retail loan officers. And what I mean by retail is that that's someone who works for either a mortgage banker, a, a mortgage, a, a bank, or maybe like a call center or something like that. And to really and truly the people who have thought about getting out of the retail space and moving over to the mortgage broker side. I understand, hey, it's scary. Your branch managers have probably scared you to death for years and told you how bad being a mortgage broker is. Uh, I can tell you though, none of that none of that crap is true. Uh, but here's here's what they're telling you, all right? We got brokers, all right? They can't close on time. You don't have processing or in-house processing, which is highly overrated. The rates aren't real. You don't have control over the entire process. All of that crap is wrong, all right? So, can't close on time? Absolutely, man. I close deals in you know, on an average 14 to 21 days, right? Um, sorry about that. Let me let me kill that. Closing deals on an average of uh, 14 to 21 days, right? The rates are absolutely phenomenal, all right? Especially when it comes to like a government deal or an FHA deal, it's not even going to be close because a lot of the margins on some of the uh, the, the mortgage banks, I mean, they've got four and a half points baked into that deal. On, a, on an FHA deal and it's FHA government, FHA, USDA, uh, VA, all the government deals are, the pricing isn't even going to be close. All right. I got a buddy that still works retail. We talk pricing two or three times a week and he's always blown away, but he just, he refuses to peel away from that retail, uh, that retail uh, branch that he's got. So the no control piece, we control absolutely all of it. You know, I mean, we get the file, we, we put it in our LOS. The LOS does everything for you. As far as not having a processor, that's something that you don't need to worry about. If you can calculate income, you don't need a processor because a loan operating system does a ton of that. What does the processor do? Well, they shouldn't be calculating your income. If they are, you're probably not experienced and ready for the broker world anyway. But ordering a payoff, order title, uh, order a VOE, well, loan operating system is going to do all of it. All you need is the information to plug it in and be able to hit send. It's going to take care of all of that. All right. Now, here's what they aren't telling you. Here's what your branch managers aren't telling you on the broker side. Right off the top, you're probably going to go over there and you're going to get paid a lot more money if you go if you move over to the broker side because what's the comp what's the comp on retail right now? 125, maybe 150 if you've got a really, really sweet deal. Well, brokers are going to be paying you a lot more than that. At least at LTI Mortgage, we can definitely get you taken care of to get you a lot more money. Uh, once again, they're not telling you how much better the pricing is. I mean, the cost that your borrowers are going to incur because of that retail and just the the the, the structure of, of how it's set over there. I mean, you got a branch manager, then you got a regional branch manager, and you've got somebody else and somebody else. All these people got to get paid. So those margins in those loans, they got to be a lot bigger so that they can continue to keep the lights on. They also don't tell you that, hey, we don't have a lot of layoffs on the broker side. What, what a lot of people are dealing with right now, I'm starting to see a lot of the support staff get laid off. And what's that going to do? Support staff get laid off, that's going to start slowing down turn times. And it, it, it kind of just sucks too once you, you get used to working with a team member and then you walk in one day and find out, hey, so-and-so has been let go, so now you got to work with this person. But at the end of the day, with my broker, my broker training program, what I'm going to do is teach you how to not be reliable on somebody else to, to make your money. All right, and it also kind of sucks that with you being the person who went out there, drummed up the business, you met with the real estate agents, you found the clients, you did all of this, and then you're going to be the one who makes the least amount of money on that deal. That just doesn't make any amount of sense to me at all. Um, a lot less overlays as well, because uh, we're going directly to the bank, and they, they look at this file. They're going directly from Fannie and Freddie guidelines. You don't have to worry about, well, my company won't take this deal because the debt ratio is a half a percent higher than, than what they say that it should be. Well, on the broker side, man, we go directly off of off of the findings. If you got an approved eligible, you got an approved eligible. Let's take that file and let's run with it. All right. So here's also just, man, you got to worry about, I mean, you, you can't worry about being scared. I can tell you 100%. This is the best career move that I have made in my life when I decided to open up my own mortgage brokerage because it's the amount of money that I now make per deal puts me in a position to where I don't have to close 10 or 15 loans a month. 
let's just say you're making a million dollars, right? Or on on a million dollars right now, you're you you're making 150 150 basis points. All right, so that's going to be 15 grand. Now imagine that that same million and you got paid 27 grand for that. That's a that's a pretty big difference, and that number just continues to add up month after month after month. So definitely something you want to take a take a stab at. So if you're thinking about becoming a mortgage broker, you're just not quite confident. Let's have a conversation and let me let me talk to you and, and show you exactly what I've done to make myself a much better loan officer, make myself a lot more money without having to be in that typical branch type of environment. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description. I definitely want to talk to some people. Put you in a mortgage broker training program to where within a year you'll be in a position to where you can, you'll have your own mortgage brokerage. You'll be running your own shop. Other than that, hey, I look forward to talking to you guys soon. If you got any questions, contact me. There's going to be a link in the description below. Talk to you soon. Take care.